Hey, it's Prince Charming with Shrek Travel, and I'm going to show you how to make Philly cheesesteak. These are the simple ingredients you need. Steak, onion, bell pepper, cheese, any type you like. Mine is cheddar. Bread. I'm going to show you how to make this very simple dish right in this RV. First of all, you have to cut your steak very, very thinly. For steak, you can choose any type of steak you want. A lot of people use this ribeye. As you can see, the knife I have right here is very sharp. So it's very easy to cut thinly sliced steak. And you know, just take your time because cooking is for fun and you don't need to rush. Just take your time, have fun cutting this beautiful piece of steak. After that, I do this to my steak so that they get more tender and then these steak are gonna make our bread so delicious. I'm just kind of like chopping them down like this, but don't chop like completely. And this is how I season it. Just pepper, some salt, soy sauce, chili sauce. And if you like a little bit of sweetness, you can just add sugar or honey if you want. For me, I just want to keep it simple because I want to taste the onions and the bell pepper later. Then, you know, just mix it up and then so let it marinate. You don't have to let it marinate. You can just season right when you're cooking, but I would like to marinate my steak so that they taste more. And then just cut your bell pepper and onions to like little cubes, really tiny cubes. Again, it's all up to you. You can cut like a really big piece if you like, but for me, I prefer little cubes. Some people put mushrooms in their Philly cheesesteak, but for me, I like to put bell pepper. Bell peppers are really healthy. If you like, you can buy different colors of bell peppers so that your Philly cheesesteak look even better. I'm always just taking my time when I cook because life in art, it's all about enjoying your life. So cooking is one of my favorite. Then also, you know, just like the same thing, you just cut into tiny cubes of onions. And onions is probably my favorite part of this Philly cheesesteak. Because caramelized onions, man, they're so good. You can definitely add as much onions as you like. Because onions, they're really, really tasty when they're caramelized. So yeah, let's start our cooking process with some caramelized onions. Just put some oil, let it heat up, and then just put onions in, stir it around until it gets golden brown. When the onions turn brown, they are so tasty. And then I put in my bell pepper and then keep stir frying it. I want both my onions and my bell pepper to be well caramelized so that they can taste really, really sweet. You know, with life in an RV, cooking is not that hard at all. You can always find different recipes online and then you just follow it. I love Philly cheesesteak. And now put in a cube of butter. You can put a lot of butter. You can put as much butter as you like because butter is awesome. Butter is gonna make your steak, your bread, your whole Philly cheesesteak so much more fatty and yummy and delicious. And then now it's the time you put in your beef. Of course, for the steak, I don't wanna cook it too much. So I'm just kind of like stirring it around for like one minute. Steak gets cooked very fast, so I don't want it to be like super well done because it's gonna be very chewy then. It's better to just stir it for a minute so that it can be tender. It can still have the original taste of And here you go. But before you put any cheese in, let's toast our bread first. So guess what bread I have today? I have this beautiful 
Vietnamese banh mi or Vietnamese baguettes. One of the best baguettes in the world, trust me. Just look at how beautiful it is. And later after you grill it, you can just listen to the sound. It's very crispy and you'll love it. I grill my bread on my stove. So I don't want to put the fire too high because then it's going to burn my bread. So yeah, just like really low heat. Now you want to cut in between of the bread so that you can put the steak in. So normally I just use a normal knife, but because I'm filming today, so I'm using a bread knife, which is actually easier to cut. Do you know that you can cut tomatoes with a bread knife really well? Now please look at how beautiful this Vietnamese banh mi is, how crispy it is. And now it's time to put your cheese in. I put my cheddar cheese. You know a lot of people make cheese sauce, but no, I don't make cheese sauce. I just want to eat cheese. So when it melts, it's so fatty and yummy. Look at that. Now let's go to the most important part of the day, putting the cheesesteak into the bread. It already looks so good now. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. But I think my cheesesteak looks awesome. You can also comment down below to tell me how you make your cheesesteak. And maybe we can learn from each other. This is just my twist on it. And trust me when I say get a Vietnamese baguette to eat cheesesteak, it's so good. Now just look at how yummy that is. The cheese, the steak, the bell pepper, the caramelized onions. I can't wait to eat this now. So now Prince Charming is going to cut this in half and then I'm going to show you guys how awesome this village cheesesteak look inside. So that's Prince Charming's village cheesesteak with Shrek Travel. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Shrek Travel for more, more videos. Thank you for watching. This is Prince Charming with Shrek Travel.